my video about life path number seven. If you happen to be life path number seven, then this video is going to take you on an in-depth journey to understand what you are really meant to learn and embody as your central lesson in this lifetime. Let us take a deeper look. First of all, in the upper side above the circle, you see all the light side of your life path. Below the circle, you see the shadow side. Both these sides have to be explored and learned in order for you to become a role model and an embodiment of your life path number seven. So life path number seven deals with the subjects of depth, wisdom, meaning, and the search after truth. As a seven life path, these are the qualities that you are meant to embody, to embody that depth, that looking beyond the surface, beyond the appearance of things, not just taking things in face value, but actually looking deep in order to find the root truth of things, the original truth. This is why seven life paths will be attracted either to philosophy or spirituality or science. In other words, different paths in order to ask the big questions of life or to try to find or touch that fundamental truth. So seven is all about, in other words, understanding. This is why you will very often as a seven life path be attracted to empower your mind and to develop your mind, right? To develop the intellect, to develop your intelligence, to develop your capacity to understand and perceive complex truths. So part of developing your wisdom, part of developing that depth is also learning to trust your own wisdom. And because of that, as a seven life path, you need to learn to trust your own knowing, your own wisdom. In a sense, you have to be able to be a light unto yourself. That's what the Buddha said 2,600 years ago. And that is what the seven life path number is here to embody to be able to really trust yourself in that moment when everything seems to be disorienting, when there's confusion and nothing seems to be completely known, and yet you just trust that deep, silent wisdom from within and you follow it through. However, like every life path, you will have to also explore and understand and experience the shadow side. And the shadow side of number seven has a lot to do with being an outsider, aloof, right? Someone who is not feeling like they're totally in life because they are this natural observer, this very keen observer of truth, wanting to understand. They naturally are a little bit an outsider, but working shadow, this becomes really someone who doesn't know how to blend in, someone who feels awkward, someone who feels inadequate about who they are, someone that feels wrong about themselves, as if something is wrong or flawed about who I am, I'm strange, I'm bizarre. They usually feel they're more intelligent or wise or see things very differently than others. And that really um, exacerbates or or, um, puts more emphasis on this feeling of inadequacy. They're also more heavy when they work on their shadow because depth is great, wisdom is great, but it has a price because it becomes it becomes very heavy, right? When you're always not taking things in face value, when everything you see in life, you want to understand what's behind it, what's the root cause, then naturally you become heavier. It's not just a light flow from moment to moment. You always go deep and that becomes heavy. It always it also leads you into very, very um, let's say far reaching, uh, you know, depths or ends of things. And that's why sometimes it can become confusing. And that's also the shadow of number seven, confusion, anxiety, fears, all kinds of like questions about what's real, what's unreal, right? A little bit disorienting. And of course, the opposite of trusting yourself, which is lack of self-trust. I constantly need the approval or acknowledgement of someone else to tell me I'm on the right path because I don't manage to fathom that strength to touch myself, to trust myself, sorry. So remember, the seven has a lot to do with this wisdom, meaning. Meaning is also very, very important. Meaning is that life has a meaning. What is the reason that I'm here? 
what is the purpose of this life? Right? Seven explores the bigger questions of life and seeks to reach a full understanding of things. So remember that in order to become this living role model of a seven life path, you will have to walk back and forth like a pendulum movement between those light and shadow sides in order to master fully your life path and become an example, a living example, a living role model of what it means to be a life path number seven. If you want to go deeper into numerology, I recommend that you check out my self-study numerology course. You'll find the link in the description below. It is a professionally made self-study course, very comprehensive, and you can take it at your own pace on your computer, tablet, or smartphone. If on the other hand, you want to study numerology professionally, you can study with me one-on-one. -on -one. You will also find the link in the description below to the one-on-one -on -one professional numerology studies with me. Simply click on that link and contact me through the contact form and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll see you in the next videos.